Hello everyone, my name's Cindy, and if you can see for free, good for you. I cannot. Which is why I'm making this YouTube video where I'm going to be sharing all the glasses that I purchased from iBuyDirect. I have purchased glasses before from Sears Optical and also Costco, and they're more on the expensive side in my opinion. And for being someone who isn't really responsible with their glasses and mishandles them, it gets pricey. So ever since I discovered I Buy Direct, I've only been getting glasses from there, and I just I love their I love their stuff. I love their selection, honestly. Um, now, with their selection, when I purchase my glasses from there, the ones that I like don't have many reviews, and so that's why I'm making this video today. So in case there's someone out there that has some of these styles sitting in their cart and don't know whether to, you know, go for it or not. Hopefully this video gets to you and it helps you with your decision making. So sidebar, don't know how to edit, do not know. So I wish I can be like, check out this picture. Look at this one I had them on. Click here, click there, do not know. So I'll just put everything in the description below. I'm also trying to do everything in one take and as quick as possible and to the point. So bear with me and that is it. I'm gonna wear these glasses with my hair down at first, but at the end, I will put my hair up in case my hair is distracting or just not really giving, you know, if, it, if it's just in the way. So stick to the end or skip to the end if you wanna see that. Um, we'll start off with my first glasses. Just like I said, I mishandled my glasses. So there are some pieces that will be missing. These are my first ones. Don't know what happened here, but these are called Octave. I love these glasses. When I used to get glasses from like, not I buy direct, I bought rectangular or small glasses. So these were my first big glasses and I never looked back. I never looked back. So this is them, this is Octave. Oh, sorry, Lotus, this is Lotus. Um, Octave are my favorite, you'll see that soon. But yeah these are nice glasses i like these yep so that's that the next one will be my least favorite these are called perceive and they're just small for my face i don't like them the lens popped or it has been popping out so i don't know where that went so i'm going to look ridiculous but This is it. I used to love this style where it's like black here and like either rimless or whatever down here, but it's not it anymore for me. One thing I do have to say about these glasses, though they're lightweight, they bend very easily. These sides right here, they're plastic on the ends, but right here, if you were to sit on them or shit, I stepped on them it's just constant readjusting and i just i don't like that so i don't like these glasses but they're not for me they may be for you so again i have them on to see to show you how they look and again i'll have my hair up in later in later in the video hopefully i'll be able to find that lens that popped oh here it is the lens that popped out so at least i won't look as ridiculous um the screw is missing I don't, I don't know when that happened honestly i don't wear these glasses as often so i did not notice when this popped out Ooh. nice ah anyway you get the point i'll put them on properly later so there's that now these are my favorite these are the octave octave ones now i love these because i feel like this really captures my style slash personality very well um i love the ends they're thin again my thing's just big thin glasses and what's cool about these is that these are like an octagon shape they're not circular so they add a little like something different to the look you know um yeah this is how they look so that's that We'll move on to my sunglasses that I bought over the summer a couple years ago, and these are called Summer More. And I like these, they're fun. They're in the color black, there are other color selections as well. And 
and that is what they look like. <laughs> But yeah. Anyways, that's that. Now we're getting to the ones I recently ordered. So I as I don't know how to feel about them. I just opened them last night and I've been wearing them to see if they grow on me. They are slowly, but they're just not what you've seen so far. Now this one is called Mayfair. And if you know me, I don't like pink. Again, I'm gonna repeat that. If you know me, I do not like pink. So, these are pink. <laughs> um, I really like the cat I look to it. I these are actually pretty these are growing on me, honestly. Um the pink throws me off here and there just because I'm just that picky with pink, but this is you know a nice little subtle change. <laughs> Um, but yeah, this is how they look. They're thin on the ends again. They're like a pink clear Plastic right here while they're like sturdy metal right there um, The pink as you can see is on the edges and That is what they look on Honestly, I This one is growing on me now this one is the one I was so excited about. I, the moment I saw it online, I just had to get them. I think it just scratched a certain part of my brain. Um, I used to be obsessed, and I mean obsessed with the infinity sign, and you'll see <laughs> that just just wait, just look. The sides have this textured thingy, so it's kind of different with my comfort zone of like having a thin whatever you call this leg whatever it's called and um, so it's it's something different right now with them on they look like safety goggles to me and that's what gets me i don't know like there are certain angles where i like them but there are certain angles where all you see is that crisscross thing you know, I really think they're cool though. They're definitely glasses that you don't see. You see glasses that are big but have the bar in the middle or just, I've never seen crisscross. So when I saw these, I just had to get them. And don't get me wrong, I do like these. There's just certain angles where I, uh, I'm not happy about. But don't get me wrong, I'm still going to wear these. I just, hmm, it's just going to take, you know, some getting used to. But these are called movie um this is how they look on the side and i like the, i don't know i like i like them and there are certain angles where i don't but it's just all um, these are new i literally just got them last night so it's all of just getting used it's just getting used to them you know so that is that those are all my glasses i do have two that i ordered days and village but i don't have them with me because i broke one of them and the other one's lost at sea some mermaids enjoying them right now i could upload them if i can upload pictures this is what they look like if not i will put the link down below um but yeah that's the end of the video i'm going to put my hair up so you can see what they look like with you know with my hair not being in the way um i'll just start from here and make my way down to my oldest glasses and hopefully this helps with your decision making again that's just my goal i want everyone to be happy with their glasses and find glasses that best like you know make you feel confident and show your personality and like you want to feel good you know so that is that try and put my hair up now Gosh, I can never use these little ganchos. Alright, close enough. Yeah, close enough. So, this is movie. I'm just going to be turning to each side. And hopefully you get an idea as to how they look. Getting up close and personal. Yep, so that is movie. 
This one is Mayfair. Honestly, this gives me, I mean, I start class today, right? So this gives me like new semester, new glasses. That's honestly, I, I, I enjoy these a lot. At first, I'm not going to lie, when I had these, this threw me off. But the more I wear them, the more I like them. So this is She Mayfair. My sunglasses are next. These are Sun Amore. Now, these are the sunglasses that you'll be able to see your eyes. I like the very dark ones. Um, opaque is the word. Maybe not. I don't know. But you know what I mean. Where you can't see your eyes. But with these, you can. Uh, you, you can. So. There's that. Um, Octave is next. And these are my favorite ones and again since these are the ones that i've had for many many years just recently and i mean just recently did it start doing this number where the center thing is just peeling off this one already did fall off but there's that octave we have my favorite Perceive. Am I really not going to be able to do this? I guess since I was just bending these too much, it's just not working out for me. But this is a perfect example of what I mean. Like, this is bended, so the fit of it is going to be awkward. And the tent, this glasses. I always have to fix because I always feel like they're like this so do what you will with that information this is perceive yep and the originals my number ones lotus I'm gonna just hold this here so it's not so awkward but this is what they look from the side and this is what they look up close and that is my glasses that is a wrap for today i hope that this helped somebody out and again i do have two other glasses one glasses called days the other one's called um that's no more the other ones are sunglasses, which were called Village. Um, I'm going to just say this now. When it comes to Days, Days was a beautiful floral, like, plastic glasses. But because they're plastic, you have to be careful where you put them. Because if you forget, you might just, you know, put your whole body weight on them, forgetting that they're there and, like, break them into small little pieces. Totally not what happened to me. <laughs> um and then the sunglasses village i like them they fit me i would say almost like how these fit me lens wise where they cover just enough like literally just cover my eyeball since i'm used to just bigger glasses i'm used to the glasses covering some of my eyebrow and my eye but the sunglasses only covered my eye so it, was, it took some getting used to, but they still looked amazing. I lost them at the beach. I dove into the water with them being on my head, sitting on my head, just like this. I went, bloop, bloop. But I've been, but I've some mermaids enjoying them now. And I hope they're enjoying them because those were my favorite. There's nothing like your first prescriptive sunglasses. But anyway, this video is a little bit longer than what I hope, but I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope this helped. Don't forget to spread kindness and have a good day.